Taoiseach, again, I just want to ask what the government intends to take or if they're taking any action in the short term just to alleviate the impact of the fuel and energy costs increasing on both businesses and consumers. And Taoiseach, I do know that it is a very serious issue for you and I know that you are aware of it from talking to all of us. But I also want to talk about um, Ukraine and I, I think the fuel costs has affected it. But I've had contact with a family in Carlo and I'm sure you're aware of it, a medical student, Rachel, who is actually trapped in Ukraine. But the good news is she's on her way to Moldova with a Scottish uh, rescue team. You, Will the you. Department of Foreign Affairs be there to assist her in Moldova? It, it, it is going to be a good news story, Taoiseach, and I think Thank it is important you, that everyone Time works with her. Thank you. First of all, we all we are all very conscious of the um, impact of the war of Ukraine and uh, various other issues um, on oil prices, fuel prices, uh, cost of home heating, uh, but particularly you know the cost of getting to work. Uh, and, and, and at the petrol pump. So government is keeping this under very, very active consideration, as I said earlier, and will continue to do so. Uh, in relation uh, to um, Rachel's um, um, journey from a war zone, uh, I think it's good to witness the progress being made, and we're in constant, constant, constant right, contact with Irish citizens, including Francis Rachel.